Hi tarot friends. Welcome to my channel. I'm Eva and today I am highlighting a deck that I received here at the end of summer 2023. I don't know if you've ever heard of this deck or this seller. I found it on Etsy. I don't know what I was on Etsy for but when I saw this deck come up I fell instantly in love with the images and the theme because it has to do with the monarch butterfly and I had been recently putting in a butterfly garden. I will try to share some images, maybe even some video from my efforts to do that. Um, it was really fun because it started with a trip to the garden center to get um, plants that butterflies need and I brought along several of my kids, three of my kids, and while we were there um, picking up plants, we were shown a chrysalis hanging off the edge of one of the plants, and the garden manager really wanted me to take it home. So we bought that, well, we were going to buy that plant anyway, or a plant like that anyway, and we, she wanted me to take that one. And she also showed me another plant that had um, a monarch caterpillar on it. So we brought home a chrysalis of a monarch, as well as a... Um, a caterpillar eating the host plant it needed and we started that garden this at the end of summer so even though it's kind of late for butterflies I'm still hoping to release this video um, because this is the time of year when the monarchs come out from their last cocoons and they make their journey um, to Mexico from North America I live in North America and it's getting scarce to see any monarchs because they're actually um, they're actually kind of I don't know if they're on the endangered list but they're definitely somewhat endangered. I'm going to share real quick before I get started the little monarch uh, chrysalis that I'm currently babysitting at the moment. Um, it's keeping me company um, right over here. I'm just going to lift, lift the camera. I brought the bucket. I moved it a few feet from where it had been sitting on our um, patio. And if I tip the bucket forward a little bit, my daughter this today had to rig up a um, like an orchid plant um, post because the little brown leaf that the chrysalis was on um, had dipped down into the the mulch down there, and so she propped it up. But you can sort of see the the green chrysalis. I hope how. It's turning darker and it'll soon go black and then you'll be able to see the monarch wings through it probably by tomorrow I'm gonna to share a picture I took of the earlier chrysalis that did that hopefully in this video but that's my little chrysalis buddy babysitting me out here while I'm filming and it's so good to be back filming I haven't made a video in quite some time I have um, a microphone on that I'm hoping will help catch my voice and the um, outdoor sounds here where I am won't be too loud. But it was such a gorgeous day here at the end, well, really the beginning of fall. I was going to say end of summer, but it's actually the beginning of fall when I'm recording this. And it's my favorite time of year. The weather is nice and mild, and there isn't too much rain um, or humidity. So we can go outdoors a lot. We can. It's actually easier to garden right now than it was in the spring because of my allergies and so forth. So I'm really having fun with this. This is thank you for shopping small. And the sellers Mocha or Malka, Malka vibes on Etsy. As of this recording, names can always change, of course. Um, and the name of this deck, which we'll see in a minute. Well, I also, I got the little gift set. I couldn't resist this pouch. It comes with some other things. This pouch does not typically come with a deck unless you purchase the um, gift set. But I love to have a pouch when I'm dealing with a tuck box because tuck boxes can get kind of um, broken easily. There we go. This is the deck I'm highlighting today. Metamorphosis, the Monarch Butterfly Oracle, a 36 card deck and guidebook. The story of 
it says here, the story of the monarch butterfly is one of true inspiration, hope, and perseverance. This 36 card deck and guidebook take you through the entire life cycle of the monarch butterfly. Beautifully illustrated, hello bee, <laughs> and inspired by nature, these cards are meant to guide you along your journey while you transform yourself through your own metamorphosis. Well, isn't that cute? I don't usually have bees land on me, and I'm not a real fan of it, but at the same time, as long as it doesn't sting me, it's just curious, right? It's just curious. So let's put this, oh, let me just show you real quick um, the few little items that came in the gift set. I thought this was actually kind of pretty. I might wear this, um, this butterfly necklace. Um, of a monarch butterfly and yeah I love that and if I don't wear it I'm sure I can find someone who will um, some seeds this is cool can you guys see that I hope I'm getting these in the camera I need to remember to check so we have these two things and um, yeah beautiful stickers here Thank you, that's lovely. Is there one more thing? Oh, right, the little little heart quartz, rose quartz, shape of a heart. I don't have any heart-shaped gemstones, so that's, that's a nice little additive too. Oh, I think there's still one more thing. What is this? Oh, one more sticker, awesome. Okay, we have a nice little setup here. Let's go ahead and take this out of the bag. This can go in the corner here, maybe we can see that. So let's get to the grand event here, the cards. Um, there are so many cards on Etsy, of course, you can almost always find a new treasure and you have to be careful of that. Uh, well, that's pretty, isn't it, the backings. We'll get to that booklet when we're done with the cards. Let me make a little more space here. I haven't tried filming on this setup before outside here. I hope it works out. I saw how beautiful the day was and I was gonna film indoors and I thought, oh no, I have to do this outside. Especially this particular deck. So here are our backs, which is the same as on the little pouch that comes with the gift set. It'd be nice if she or he made the pouch available um, as, a, as a, a separate thing you could buy, right? If you just wanted the deck and the pouch. Um, but I didn't see that option at the time I bought mine. So let's start looking through here. Um, does it start? I think it does start on the back here. So we'll just do that. It says egg ovum. It's probably the Latin word for that, right? Beginnings, birth, creation. And I am going to, um, when I edit this, I'll try to, you know, get close enough if it needs to be tightened in here, but I'm not gonna worry about that just yet. Shell, protection, honor, and strength. So it looks a little different from this one. I haven't seen all these cards before. Um, there were a few shown on the Etsy site, and that's all I saw. Stage one, first in star, discovery, begin, awareness. So from what I understand, monarchs go through uh, an egg stage and then five in star stages. And they grow with each stage. And when they are done with the fifth one, then they make their chrysalis. We'll see that here probably. Stage two, second in star. Progress, vision, passage. I won't read all the words on all the keywords on the cards, but you can see them hopefully. And here we have the stage three. I would say the say the caterpillar we brought home was stage two when we brought it home. I saw it get bigger and bigger as it chewed up the milkweed plant. You can 
it's going to go through all the stages, getting bigger. And it has these two little like antenna type things on either end of it. I don't know if that's like supposed to be some kind of decoy, but the bigger ones are on the head side of the caterpillar from what I've observed. Um, stage five. I didn't see that happening because it disappeared. It basically got really chubby and then it disappeared. And I, my mom has raised butterfly plants before and she's seen the caterpillars disappear and she didn't, couldn't find the chrysalises sometimes or maybe ever, I'm not sure. But I did later find the chrysalis. That's the one that was in the bucket. Here we go. Pupa, chrysalis, meditation, evolve and transcend. Yeah, I didn't see the butterfly emerge from the chrysalis either, but I did see it get right to the day before when the whole thing turned dark. Here, I'll show you a card that shows it. From the Wild Unknown Tarot, we have this card. That's what it looks like. It gets really dark and see-through, and you can see the orange and black wings inside. It's lovely. Um, the, then you see the the empty chrysalis afterwards. Okay, here's a plant that it loves to eat. Common, there's different kinds of milkweed and I like this deck because it has different milkweed plants in it. We did not get any common milkweed. Um, foundation, roots, life source. They're all called Asclepius in the Latin, but they have a different second words here. So Asclepius syriaca, I don't know how you say that. And then we have a butterfly weed or Asclepius tuberosa. We did buy some of that. Nurture, loyalty, support. So butterfly gardens need different kinds of plants because certain plants are the host plants and certain plants are the nectar plants or the, or the food sources, right? So you have a host for when they're caterpillars and eggs and, and chrysalises, and then you have um, hosts I'm sorry, nectar plants for when they are butterflies and they need to eat from the flowers. Swamp milkweed, we brought some of that home. That's the one that the caterpillar seemed to prefer of the two, of these two. The caterpillar moved from here to here as it got bigger. Grounding, truth, stability. Oh, tropical milkweed, that's one I hadn't heard of before. Interesting, delusions, false, and limited. Ooh, way station, isn't that beautiful? Oasis. Yeah, like for when they're traveling, maybe. I understand they love to eat um, golden, I think it's golden rod, maybe it was golden seal as they're migrating south to Mexico in the fall. Purple coneflower, we brought some of that home. Echinacea is popular, of course, for tea. Any other herbal remedies? Wellness, peace, and vitality. We have bloom, the flowering stage. Spring. Yep, because all the all the uh, plants we bought all die down in the fall, and they'll be kind of invisible in the winter, and then they'll come back up out of the soil in the spring. That's known as being a perennial flower, or plant, or shrub. Summer, that's beautiful. Autumn. Sun. Oh, isn't that pretty? Hummingbird, it's called pollinator. I saw some of those in my garden because I do have a butterfly bush already. I've had for several years and it sits right outside our kitchen window and it's um, fun to watch the different pollinators come, the bees, the butterflies, the moths, the hummingbird moths, and then finally, more rarely, are the hummingbirds. Mmm, predator, yeah. But we like spiders and bees too, they're important for the garden. Ooh, 
posthumous or cycle end. Nectar. Female. Male. I wonder if they really look different in real, real life or this is just artistic license. There's some differences between them, but not much to see. Ooh, mate. That's nice. I don't know how butterflies mate exactly. <laughs> Roost. Again, I haven't seen most of these cards, so it's been a joy to experience this at the same time. Oh yeah, I do have an image. I have some video actually I'll try to share of a different type of butterfly that just rested on my butterfly bush along with the bees and um, they weren't moving at all. They were just just hanging out. And it was, you know, it was late in the day. So I think they were, I understand hummingbirds do that too. They come to a point of torpor where they like they can't move. They need to need to rest. Wings. Gifts, intuition, and grace. Flight. Freedom, travel, faith. Kaleidoscope's an interesting one. Butterfly swarm. Family, love, and belonging. Ooh, I like that. Migration. Oop, <laughs> that's from the tree above me. Hello, you belong here too. Uh, yeah, migration's important. Arrivals, wonderful. Overwintering, that's right. So I, from what I read, there's four different generations every summer of monarchs. Um, so the first generation arrives from Mexico. They're the ones, I guess, I guess they're the first generation. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, there has to be some that come north, right? In the, they migrate from Mexico to the different spots of North America. And they, they um, from what I understand, they move ever further northward with every generation. So each generation only lasts a short time. They go through the life cycle. Then they die a short few weeks after they emerge from the chrysalis. But they've, laid, they've mated and laid eggs in that short time. And the next eggs hatch and those um, fly further north. Once they, of course, go through their life cycle, they, they fly further north, they mate, they lay more eggs, something like this anyway. And the final one, the fourth generation, emerges from the chrysalis, but they don't mate. They have the, the job of migrating south again. And they stay alive a lot longer. Instead of dying after just a few weeks, they live to be um, about seven months old. And they mate at some point, maybe it's in the spring, I'm not sure, they mate, yeah, they probably mate and lay eggs in the spring down in Mexico. And then um, when those eggs emerge and go through their five instar stages as a caterpillar or larva, then they also become chrysalises and emerge and they start the generation of, they start the first generation again and fly, that, that generation flies north. You, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So that was all very fascinating to learn about. And final card is the monarch butterfly. Spirit, true form, and elevation. I want to say like evolution here, but it's elevation. So that is our deck of, I think it said 36 cards, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to sort of lay, lay some of those out to see again. We have lots of different cards here. And go look at our book real quick. Sure, sure, show some more cards. There we go. So this is like a, a little booklet, a little white booklet. And what do we have inside here? Metamorphosis, the Monarch Butterfly Oracle, copyright 2023, Malka Vibes, all rights reserved. Simply a guide to help gain a deeper understanding of the cards if needed. There's no wrong way to use or interpret the cards. You are encouraged to follow your intuition as you discover and explore your own life's metamorphosis. Certainly true. 
Okay, so that's interesting. It starts here. Oh, these are in alphabetical order, that's why. That's good to know. It makes it easier to find what you're looking for when you pull up a card. Just go right and look for it alphabetically. I like there being some kind of system. But you get an idea here. So let's look at chrysalis and common milkweed. Chrysalis says, uh, a monarch's chrysalis is a sight to behold. I'll, I'll agree with that. Surrounded by beautiful jade green and glints of sparkling gold, the monarch will undergo its transformation in a tranquil stillness. You are going through a true spiritual transcendence. Take this time for quiet reflection and rest. All things will be revealed. It is already done. I was really um, impressed seeing a chrysalis up close this summer for the first time with the gold. Um, I made a comment about that to the garden manager at the, at the garden center and she said, yeah, they all do that. And I hadn't known that, but now I've seen, since seen my second chrysalis, which I'll again show you pictures of, and it has the same little gold dots. It's almost like they sealed themselves in and then like, um, I get the feeling that they like crowned it with, you know, these little gold gems, you know, so nobody would interrupt their little, um, it's almost like a carsoph uh, sarcophagus or something um, where they trans really, transform quite remarkably from a squishy cater caterpillar with lots of legs into something quite different. Milkweed, common milkweed. <clears throat> Without milkweed, the monarch butterfly cannot exist. It is the source of nourishment for monarch caterpillars. Yeah, it's the only source too. And an important nectar source for all pollinators. So it's important for, their, for the leaves so the caterpillars can grow, and it's important for the flowers as well, especially the leaves. We each have something unique that gives life to our souls. Remember your roots and build your foundation on what truly matters to you. Just a couple more here for you to check out. It says, male monarchs are distinguished by thinner wing veins and black spots on their hind wings. Flying confidently, the male seeks out potential mates, staying focused on his migratory purpose. Embrace your divine masculine power. You will attract like minds when you have the confidence to follow your dreams. Well, that is, what's it called again? Let's get it right. Metamorphosis, the Monarch Butterfly Oracle. I love it. I can't wait to start using it. I'll use it probably over the winter, as well as uh, all year long, especially spring and summer. Um, it tells a story of, you know, a, a journey from beginning to end and that can apply to us at any point of the year and any point in our lives. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about this deck and any other treasures you found on Etsy that you'd like me to know about or anything that you wanna share about butterflies in general and maybe growing a butterfly garden because they do need support. They do need people to grow their host flowers and their uh, nectar flowers um, because they are somewhat endangered, at least the monarchs are. But really all pollinators are struggling, right? Even bees and so forth because so much uh, of our weeds and the things that typically had grown for them have been changed into cities and farmland. Um, there isn't as much for them to eat off of. so. Thanks so much for joining me for this video, and I'd love to hear from you below in the comments. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more comment by me. Uh, it's not a comment, more content by me. And I look forward to the next time we can meet here on YouTube. Take care until then. Bye-bye, everyone.